Welcome to this week's non-Wednesday version of a Wednesday webinar. Today we're going to talk about test whiz reports, how you can access them and what benefits they have for you. This is Laura Lynn O'Keefe at ESU8. First you're going to want to log in to test whiz. Your First click will be on the utilities bar at the top. This is going to be pretty much your main dashboard all the time. Once you click utilities, your next screen will look like this. You will hover over the home and it will give you a drop down menu that will look like this. Now, to create reports, you can go either in the Create Reports and click, or you can select a test for reporting. It'll ultimately take you to the same frame as we, the same place as we move through this process. And I will show you that here in a little bit. I selected Select a Test for Reporting, and this is the screen that you will get. At this point, you can click on Select Recent, which if you have currently selected a test for reporting, you could do that here. Or if you have a whole list of assessments, you can filter based on grade or test name or year. Once you click one of the tests, it will take you to the Create Report screen. You will only be allowed to click on one test at this point. Later on, if you want to combine multi-tests to generate a report, you can do that on a separate screen. So once you click one of the tests, it will take you to the screen that looks like this. You're going to now create your report. You can also customize your report from here. You can change the report parameters. You can add your own parameters. The ones that are in white are the default parameters. The ones that are in gray have been turned off. You can also add additional parameters. And we'll look at that a little bit later as well. Reporting group. You can do individual student reports. You can do class reports. You can do, administrators can do whole school reports, district reports, or as they said, multi-district reports. This drop-down menu gives you a variety of different types of reports under each reporting group, and we'll look at that a little bit later. You will want to select your teacher type and your location. As I generated many of these reports, I didn't change the customization or do the quick quick reports. The nice part is if you have a selected report, you can do a quick preview and then you can adjust based on if you want a different one or if you want to change your parameters. You can do that without committing yourself to having to print or download a report. So what I'm going to do is go into test whiz and give you kind of a short tutorial but what if i what happens if you forget this in a few weeks and you need to get started test whiz has two options again um, on their home screen the help documents pretty much walk you through the different types of reports there's also training videos that you can use you can also download different types of reports none from nebraska at this time but they're general guide reports so let's go into test whiz. So I'm going to log in. I'm going to click on utilities and then I'm going to hover over the home screen. As I showed you in the PowerPoint presentation, I'm going to select a test for reporting. Some recent reports that I've ran are on these two assessments. I'm just going to go down here and select something from ESU 13. It takes me to this screen where I can do a student report. The nice part about this at this point is you can really do individual item analysis. This is a great place where you can create a report to assist with your goal setting if you've aligned with any map goal setting within your class or perhaps it is going to give you an opportunity to really focus on which standards 
this particular student is struggling with. This is, you can download as a PDF, a Word document, or an Excel document, and notice there are nine students in this group, and it will filter you through. So you can print off individual. This also gives you an idea of what this particu particular item was. So when you move into the class groupings, you'll be able to take a look, see what your percentages are. I think this is a really good opportunity to help individualized instruction utilizing this particular report. Another type of report that you can do with students um, with objectives, you can profile them with objectives. And again, that just, it says, okay, your this is your raw score in math, this is your raw score in math characteristics, and we might need to be working on this particular standard. If you click to reporting group class, again, gives you a large number of options, list with the items, item analysis for your whole class on this particular assessment. I'm going to preview the report. This is really nice because it allows me all 44 students, or all students answered 44, which is the correct answer. Again, character under math, under characteristics, it allows you to see how many of your students got A's, B's, C's, and D's. Gives you an idea where maybe you might be able to emphasize in your next lesson. The other one that I like of the class reporting group is the instructional grouping. I think this is a real benef beneficial report as you go through and we can say the five students with a percentage correct less than 75, these are my five students. I might want to do some intervention, some math intervention with them or special time with them. The other students then, maybe I take to the next standard or to the le next level of um, difficulty. I think this is a beneficial um, report as well. So if I go back to the report, we can do an item analysis graph. This graph will show what are my percentages, where, what standards, how many students. It's a nice quick visual. District reports and school reports, depending upon your level of access, might be only available to administrators. I like this option, the reporting option. I think it gives you a couple different opportunities to utilize the test with reports for informing instruction. Maybe you look at your item analysis and you realize that you can go on past this standard. You can look at the strengths and weaknesses on those different standards. Um, you can utilize it in, with instructional grouping within your class so that you can do a little bit of differentiated instruction as you, as you move through this semester. The, some sample reporting resources, they are customizable, can be configured to meet your own needs. The sample reports show some options for students re reporting. Additional help for reports can be found on those that help document tab again after login. Here is the support information for Certica. If you ever have any questions, please don't hesitate on shooting me an email or calling or emailing Certica for some additional help. I hope that this quick tutorial on TestWiz reports is beneficial, and I hope you have a great day.